following the announcement of a nationwide shutdown program by the anti-quota protesters, tension has once again risen across Bangladesh. This program, scheduled for Thursday, may also lead to conflicts and clashes similar to previous ones. Although the protesters have announced the program, they have not disclosed the specific locations for gatherings. Following the announcement, senior police officials held several meetings. According to police officials, no leniency will be shown to anyone causing public suffering by taking to the streets. Arrest operations will also continue. Legal action will be taken against those accused in various recent cases. The police headquarters has called for maintaining a peaceful environment with respect to the law. In a statement, additional inspector, the general AIG enamel pack, Sagar said that creating a chaotic situation in the name of the name, deteriorating law and order, endangering public safety, and causing damage to property is not acceptable. Multiple police sources have indicated that if protesters block roads and try to disrupt law and order in the name of Thursday's program, they will be dealt with strictly. Sources reveal that instructions have already been given to deploy additional police in various areas of the capital, Dhaka, especially around government and private university areas and other key points. Armored personnel carriers, APC, and water cannons will be deployed in important areas, including Dhaka University. Additionally, extra members of intelligence agencies will be deployed for surveillance in Dhaka. Relevant sources indicate that due to the closure of universities, protesters will not be allowed to gather at any specific location. With universities closed, no students will be allowed to enter these institutions. Police will be stationed in front of all schools and colleges in the capital to prevent student entry. Third party infiltrate intelligence sources claim that a third party has infiltrated the student quota movement, attempting to incite violence in various ways. They are trying to provoke aggressive behavior by showing solidarity with anti quota protesters. The detective branch of Dhaka Metropolitan Police, DMV. Chief Haruna Rashid said this to journalists in the Dhaka University area in the afternoon. He said that a group is trying to divert the protesters by providing money and weapons. He mentioned that a list is being prepared and legal action will be taken on Wednesday evening. Instructions were given to clear all the halls of Dhaka University by 7 p.m. And most students have left the campus. However, a group is reportedly staying on the campus. Sources indicate that police patrols have been set up around Dhaka University to prevent anyone from entering. Intelligence officers and protester sources reveal that students plan to gather in the Dhaka University area for Thursday's program. If faced with obstacles, they...